Hello, my name is Nicholas Santillo from Logical Outcomes, and in this short video we're going to be going through the DHIS2 curriculum we've developed. On github.com you can access our online learning notebook or our DHIS2 curriculum either online or you can download the notebook for your own use in OneNote. If you access it online it'll look like this. All the content will be on the column on the left hand side vertically and you'll be able to access it through any web browser. If you're downloading it, you'll be able to open it in your own version of OneNote and it should look something like this. As you can see, all the sections here are at the top. This is of course the welcome to the DHIS2 training page, which is the first thing you'll see. And then there's a tab which helps you learn a little bit about OneNote and then some section groups, the collaboration space, content library, and DHIS2 readings. In the collaboration space, we have three tabs. The meeting notes and documents are places where you can keep documents and keep notes of your meetings with your team. In the templates tab, this is where we have all of our templates that we use to help clients set up DHIS2. You have access to all of them, and they're blank and ready for you to use. In the content library section, we have two tabs. The first are lessons. This is where we have the 15 units that we think are most important to learning to use DHIS2. In each of these pages we have a learning objective and a background to contextualize your learning as well as links to videos that we've created and readings from the DHIS2 implementation guide and user manual. The other section is assignments. Here we have 33 different assignments within each of the units that we think are important to learning how to use DHIS2 as well as set up your own instance of filling it with programs, data elements, indicators, so that you can finally create your own reports. When you've gone through all of these assignments, you will have effectively created your own program. Finally, you'll be able to use GIS to see the data that you've entered and create graphs or pivot tables for your own program. That's it for now. Thanks so much for watching, and you can always reach us at info at logicaloutcomes.net.